and uh, many customers will ask you to uh, configure budgets okay that is another important tool that you need to be aware of okay budgets from the name itself you understand right uh, you also do it for your personal uh, expenses so budget is something each and every department might have each and every project manager might have each and every portfolio my manager might have their own uh, budget so you can set custom budget to track the cost to track the usage and if you want to respond back to certain uh, alerts or warning or threshold you can um, get this uh, particular uh, report so you get uh, uh, the report for uh, savings plan reservations and uh, there are multiple ways to stay informed so this is one of the way okay so aws budgets is not just a uh, uh, it is mainly to track your cost okay track your cost or expenses and which services and so on it is mainly to uh, find the usage and also it will help you to configure the budget like you can configure the warning level and then the threshold and then the alerting level and you can also configure the uh, error level where you want to stop uh, creating new resources so this can help you to uh, get stay informed on um, uh, the usage the budget um, will help you to uh, have the forecast properly available and each and every resource usage can be uh, <clears throat> monitored so this is a, again a monitoring tool okay so it monitors the cost and usage of uh, the different aws resources you can also configure uh, um, scheduled reporting using this tool okay when it reaches 60 percent or 70 percent you can get uh, where exactly the uh, budget is going and you can also <clears throat> respond to alerts on the same tool itself you can configure alerts or you can respond to alerts on um, the so let me show you that uh, okay aws budgets right this is a very important planning and cost control tool yeah that's a better word it's a planning and cost control tool for each and every department or uh, for each and every business unit or different project team so you can create a budget you can configure the threshold limit and you can configure email notification or you can integrate with itsm tool and you can get a report on an annual basis or a monthly basis or even on a daily budget if you have daily spend of ten dollars or twenty dollars or hundred dollars daily if it goes beyond that threshold on a daily basis or a weekly basis or a monthly basis automatically you will get the alert uh, so budget is not just for monthly even you can configure it for daily or uh, weekly or monthly whatever frequency you want to do it <clears throat> so here if you go to the billing and cost management console uh, just go to that or else you can just directly search for the budget sorry let me close this screens okay so security reasons it is asking me to sign in again because we are using this cost and uh, See, the, you need admin privileges, okay? You need to be a root user for uh, doing a lot of stuff on uh, the billing and cost management. And if you are part of the FinOps team or the financial team, you need to get the access for the billing and cost management uh, console. Otherwise, uh, you will not be able to do any updates or changes. So budgets, budgets is part of your, again, uh, billing and cost management overall feature. So you can go and configure the budget here. So if you go and create a budget, it will give you option, like whether you want to use the template that is already available, or if you want to customize based on uh, the time period, maybe uh, for a particular duration of the date or uh, from specific date uh, to uh, end date, if you want to configure, you can also do it. So if you want to look at the usage of the daily savings plan or daily reservation utilization, you can also do it. So you can also start with the zero spend budget. So that is where you can go and enter uh, uh the amount exactly right so you can just say i want to uh let's put some numbers here so you can also enter some email id and uh, configure it so for monthly let's say i have got a uh, hundred dollar budget okay i can just give it last month this is the usage that i got only one dollar right so based on the previous month uh, usage also you can go and uh, define it so i can just say if my uh, if my monthly cost goes beyond five dollars I have to get uh, notified I can also do that so you can just say just send an email alert to but you have to uh, accept this okay so you cannot just send alerts to everyone you have to uh, subscribe for that once after I add this email ID you will get a confirmation on your email address to subscribe for this notification so once after I subscribe you can um, 
just start getting the emails okay so this is uh, how you will get it so you will be notified at uh, the 85 percent when uh, the usage reaches like for example out of the five dollars when it reaches uh, the 85 percent out of the five dollars it will notify us and if the actual spend reaches 100 percent also you will be notified if the actual forecast spend also if it uh, it will reach 100 percent also it will be notified like it's not that it's reactive it is also proactive it will also uh, tell you uh, based on the forecast uh, uh, for, for based on the first 10 days usage your uh, usage might uh, reach um, 100 percent that that way also you'll get an alert so this alerting is very good option okay so you will get for three different criterias so you are uh, whenever uh, the actual spend reaches 85 percent or whenever uh, the actual spend reaches 100 percent or whenever the forecast reaches 100 percent also you will get a notification so you can configure it for uh, different duration uh, monthly or weekly or whatever span you want to or else you can also go and configure uh, based on your own customized advanced option you, if you want to monitor the savings plan and the reservations uh, also you can also do it so there are many options to do it so you can configure cost budget uh, in a customized way so you can just go and select uh, the budget for a particular uh, uh, account particular month you can just configure it as a recurring budget or if you want to have a fixed budgeting method also you can just go for it or if you want to add or just based on the forecast and stuff even you can talk to the business owner and you can uh, adjust it so uh, there are there are multiple ways to configure it okay so uh, uh, just spend some time so budget is a very powerful tool through which you can control and uh, respond to any threshold limits and uh, monitor the cost and usage so budget is also something which is very heavily used in uh, many customer environment now coming to